you all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew caribbean skirt now earlier i put up a video on how to cut and sew caribbean gown and you guys requested me to make a video on how to cut and sew caribbean skirts so if you haven't watched the video on how to achieve your caribbean gown i'm going to go ahead and link down the link in the description box so that you can have an idea or you can also learn how to cut and sew caribbean gown so today i'm going to be achieving caribbean skirts and what are the basic measurements required our waist measurements hip measurements and our skirt length so our waist is 28 we have 28 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 9 inches now for our hip we have 36 inches now i'm going to say that in order for you to know the amount of fabric required for your pleats for your caribbean gown you simply multiply your hip measurements by three if you want your caribbean to be very full multiply your hip measurement by three and if you don't want it to be really full multiply your hip measurement by 2.5 okay so let's assume that you really don't want it to be that full or you're also trying to consider the amount of fabric you are working with now you multiply your hip measurement by 2.5 but if you have sufficient fabric and you also want it to be full you multiply your hip measurement by three so my hip measurement now is 36 i'm going to go ahead and multiply 36 by three so 36 divided by three multiplied by three rather so we have 36 multiplied by three i have 108 inches 108 inches now our skirt length is 22 inches so know that your caribbean skirt could either be long it could be short it just depends on what you want and we have the same method applies to whether you have a short caribbean or you have a long skirt you are still going to like use the same method okay the only difference is that the longer your skirt the more steps you will have for your caribbean okay so we have 22 I will go ahead and add 2 inches now and we have 24 inches. Now, another thing you also need to take note of when you want to achieve your Caribbean skirt is that you will also determine how many layers you want for your Caribbean, okay? So you can use like 3 layers, you can have 2 layers, you can have 4, 6, 8 layers. It just depends on you and the number of steps you want for your Caribbean. So... The number of steps you want for your Caribbean totally determines, okay, let me just like illustrate what a Caribbean skirt looks like and how you are going to get the steps by this side. Okay, so this is just like a freehand illustration. Don't take it too personal or don't take it too serious. So this is like your basic skirt. Now you determine how many layers you want for your Caribbean. So let's say we want to have like one, two, three. We are having one, two, three layers. Like I said earlier, yours could be four, it could be five. It just depends on what you want to achieve. Now we have our skirt length to be 24 inches our skirt length is 24 inches you will also discover that for your caribbean skirt you are to have a band okay you have to have a band so how many inches do you want for your band you also need to like consider the number of inches you will need for your band so the number of inches you will need for your band determine what you are going to deduct for your skirt length now our skirt length is 24 inches I want my band to be 2 inches. Note that it is optional. Yours could be 3 inches, yours could be 4. It totally depends on what you want. So, my skirt length is 24. I will go ahead and deduct 2 inches. And deduct 2 inches. Now, these 2 inches we have here is for the band. 
So we are going to have 22 inches. We are going to have 22 inches. So what it simply means is that from this point now to this point, we have 22 inches, right? Now, you will also divide your skirt length by the number of layers you want to have. Divide your skirt length by the number of layers you want to have now let's assume that we want to have i want to have like three layers for my caribbean so i'll go ahead now and divide my 22 by three inches by three rather i'll divide my 22 by three so i have 22 divided by three i'm going to have 7.3 okay i'm going to have 7.3 now what this simply means is that you have 7.3, 7.3, 7.3 into 3, 3 layers. Sum up everything, you will have 22 inches. But we are going to add our sewing allowance to it. Don't forget that we are going to add our sewing allowance to each layer because you are basically going to be placing one layer on the other layer. So we have 7.3. I'm going to go ahead and add 2 inches for my sewing allowance. Now, why am I adding 2 inches? It's because basically, so let's say we have 7.3. I'm going to add 2 inches because we'll be using 1 inch to join this part to your band and you also place this second layer on the first layer. Do you understand? But if you don't, please just drop a question in the comment section. So we have 7.3 plus 2. I'm going to have 9.3. I'm going to have 9.3 for the first layer. Now for the second layer also, I'm going to have 9.3. The reason why I'm going to have 9.3 for the second layer is because I'm also going to attach the second layer on this first layer with about 1 inch. And the third layer is also going to take 1 inch on the second layer. So, th so that will give us the 2 inches we added for the layers. Now for this third layer, which happens to be the last layer. So for your last layer, you will add your sewing allowance to it, right? For your third layer, you add your sewing allowance to it. So it could be longer because you are still going to like M. You are going to M that part, right? So I'm just going to add about one inch. Now the reason why I'm just going to add one inch to it is because from our skirt length earlier, we've added two inches to it for the folding allowance already, right? So I'll just add like one inch to it just to aim it at this lower part. So I'm going to have 10.3 for this third layer. So you can add two inches, it depends, to make it 11.3 or you can just add one inch. It does depend on if you've added your sewing allowance earlier before you divided your measurements for your layers. So let's assume that you want to have like a very long skirt. Let me just explain like a very long skirt now. You're having a very long skirt whereby you have like um, six layers. You have six layers for like a long skirt. Now what you will just do is that, what is your skirt length? Now the skirt length is 45. I'm explaining for a long skirt now. So the skirt length is 45. What you will do is that your 45 divided by the number of layers. So let's let me calculate that. We have 45 divided by 6. I have 7.5. 45 divided by 6 because we are having 6 layers. We have 7.5. Now, 7.5 you basically just do what? Add your same allowance to it also, which is about 2 inches. So you'll be adding like 9.5, 9.5, 9.5, 9.5, 9.5. But on your 6th layer, that is where you will add your 1 inch for your aiming allowance, which is like, which you are going to have about 10.5 or thereabouts. So, I hope you guys understand because I've explained like the short skirt and the long skirt, but the methods are basically the same. You just you dividing your skirt length by the number of layers you want to have. So please don't forget to join us on Facebook, City Designs, and also on Instagram. Visit our website. You guys, we have amazing fashion illustration on our website. All the details are going to be in the description box below. If you have any question in the course of this video, please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on. 
please drop it in the comment section now let's move to the sewing part of this tutorial so trainings are also available both online training and physical training all the details are going to be in the description box below and don't forget to turn on the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up so let's move to the sewing part of this tutorial now we want to achieve the band our waist is 28 we added two inches to it because of our sewing allowance and don't forget that in our measurements we deducted two inches for the band so i added an extra one and a half inches for my sewing allowance i added one and a half inches for my sewing allowance so this is what our band is going to look like So this is basically what our band is going to look like, you can see. So now, let me show you guys how to fix in your layers on the band, right? So this is the first layer. Let's take it like one layer after the other. So this is the first layer and this is our band. And of course, because this band is like our waist measurement, all you have to do now is gather this front block, the first layer, go ahead and gather this first layer. So what you are going to do is gather this layer to fix into your band measurement because the band measurement is our exact measurement which is 28 inches. So gather this first layer now. To be equal to your band measurement so by the time you gather this up this is what you are going to have you can see this part that is gathered up this is what you are going to have so you gather it up to your band measurement this is like the first layer which is gathered up to give us our band measurement right so this is the first layer gathered to give us our band measurement now now for this second layer you will gather this second layer to sit on your first layer. This is actually very easy. So you gather this layer now, your second layer, for it to sit on the first layer. You can see it's coming out. So you gather it so that it could be the same measurement with the second layer. So once you gather this now, you place it on the first layer with about one inch being on top. You see, this is what we have. Layer, you will also gather your third layer to sit on the second layer. You will also gather it to sit on the third layer. It's very easy. So, you are gathering your first layer to be equal to your band. Your second layer, you gather it to be equal to your first layer. Your third layer, you gather it to be equal to your second layer. So if you have like six layers, you may keep on gathering them to be equal to the next layer. So I will go ahead now and gather this up. Once I gather this up, I'll show you guys. So let me use this dress to show you guys what i mean by gather the first layer on the second layer just in case if you are kind of confused so we have the first layer the second layer and the third layer right now this is our first layer now which is gathered you can see it's gathered already you can see it's gathered properly gathered and i will advise you make use of your gathers foot and gathers foot are available so it is gathered now. This is the first layer. This is the second layer. Gathered and placed on the first layer with about one inch. You can see it. Now, the third layer now is gathered and placed on the second layer. So, when you are gathering the third layer, you will gather it to give you the measurement of the second layer. And of course, you can place, you can place it on top and gather it or you gather each layer separately and then you stitch them on each other you can see this third layer is stitched on the second layer gathered on top now the second layer now is placed on the first layer and gathered and the first layer is gathered 
making use of the waist measurement so i hope i've explained that the best way i can but if you don't understand you can drop your question and if you understand please comment in the comment section that you understood what i'm saying so now let me go ahead now and gather this up for the skirt and show you guys what it looks like so guys this is what we have we have the first layer second layer and the third layer attached to the band let me know if you want us to make a video on caribbean skirt with slits or any other topic you want us to make a video on so thanks so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next one bye